Hello, Cancer, Someone Rising, and Venus, and welcome to your reading. So, Cancer, today we're going to go over your overall energy as well as your person's overall energy. We're going to see how the both of you are currently viewing this relationship and how you guys feel about it and what actions you guys plan on taking each other's direction and or moving forward. But, Cancer, before I start pulling some tarot cards, I do want to go over the overall energy that I was picking up on as I was prepping the deck for your reading for today because I do feel like this energy is going to play a massive role in your reading for today. So, I was definitely picking up on two separate energies, okay? Um, I was actually getting the emperor and the empress, um, making the two of you very compatible to one another, um, making the two of you a true pair to one another. So you guys are definitely soulmates and you guys are definitely compatible to one another. That's not the problem, though. Um, the problem that I was kind of getting is that I feel like there was one person in particular that was like so ready to get this ball rolling here uh, with the person that they currently find themselves connecting with. They're ready to go off and manifest and create the life they truly want and desire with this individual because they know that this person that they're dealing with is the person that they truly do want to be with. I was definitely getting an overall energy of spend the rest of their life with, but there's like this other energy orbiting around um, you know, this person in particular. And I do feel like it's the person that they're romantically involved with that's kind of like on the fence, um, you know, about this whole entire connection, okay? Um, I was definitely getting an overall energy of this person, you know, just wanting things to kind of like slow down. Um, yeah, I was getting an overall energy of this person wanting things to slow down within this connection. Um, it's kind of what I was getting. So Cancer, again, I was picking up on two separate energies here. So kind of pick and choose who you resonate more so with. But this person that wanted things to kind of slow um, yeah, this person that wanted things to kind of slow down just a little bit, I feel like what's causing this person to respond and react this way towards this person that wants to just, you know, start building and establishing the life that they truly want and desire with this individual is mainly because of fear. It is mainly because of fear. I feel like this person wants things to slow down because, you know, fear is basically influencing this person to do so. Um, this person in particular could very well be getting cold feet. Um, I was definitely getting that. Um, but again, I feel like this person, they just want things to slow down. Um, and it's it's mainly coming from a place of fear. I feel like the main reason why this person's getting cold feet has a lot to do with fear. Uh, there's somebody here who's living in a state of fear fear and this state of fear that this person's living in um you know it does cause this person in particular to really question themselves um in the situation they currently find themselves in with this person that they're romantically involved with is basically what i'm getting um but yeah that's kind of what i was picking up on um so with that being said cancer let's get into your reading let's see how you're currently viewing this relationship and then we'll jump over to your person and see how they're currently viewing this relationship with you how does cancer currently view this relationship so we do have temperance we have the hierophant and there goes the emperor that i was picking up on mm -hmm. now keep in mind you could very well be this emperor or this emperor could definitely represent um somebody that you're currently romantically involved with okay because we are working with energy here so you may find yourself resonating with this emperor you might find yourself resonating more so with the empress just please don't get caught up in the gender because nothing's gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy within us. But for the sake of the reading, Cancer, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is you, but it doesn't have to be you, okay? So in regards to how you're currently viewing this relationship, there's somebody here that you currently find yourself connecting with that you're very dead set on. Like you're looking at this person like, okay, this is the person that I want to spend the rest of my life with. This is the person that I love. This is the person that I want to build and establish and create a life with. And you're very, very sure of that, that this is the perfect person for you is basically what I I'm getting I feel like from the moment this relationship look at this I feel like from the moment this relationship started here between the two of you you just instantly knew that this empress was basically the one for you you just instantly knew that this is the person that you want to go off and build and establish a life with you know this is somebody that you want to spend the rest of your life with is kind of what I'm I was picking up on as I was prepping the deck for your reading for today and it's showing back up all over again so like I said true pair situation here between you and this person we do have the emperor as well as the empress making the two of you very compatible making the two of you soulmates all right let's see how this empress is currently viewing this relationship I also feel like when it comes down to this empress by the way you have really good intentions when it comes down to this empress that you currently find yourself connecting with. You're not here to play games with them or anything like that. Like this, like I said, this is somebody that you're very serious about. This is somebody that you want to spend the rest of your life with. All right, how does this empress currently do this relationship? Okay. 
So we have the Queen of Wands, we have the Ace of Wands, and then we also have the Four of Swords. I actually see this Empress taking a little bit of a step back from this relationship that they share with you, but it's it's mainly stemming from a place of them feeling like they have to kind of get very crystal clear on what they honestly want here. Whether that's you uh, in a relationship with you, or whether that's them just simply focusing on them and the life that they want to manifest and create for themselves. But I, I do see this Empress taking a little bit of a step back from this relationship to really figure out what it is that they truly want and what's truly going to make them happy at the end of the day. Is it going to be you in a relationship with you or is it going to be a life of them just being single, focusing on themselves and the life that they want to manifest and create for themselves? They're trying to figure out and get very crystal clear on what they truly want and desire for themselves. Tell me more about the Ace of Wands. Okay. We have the Four of Cups. We got the uh, Two of Pentacles. And then we also have the Queen of Cups. Mm, okay. All right. You know what's interesting about this person? You know what's interesting about this person is that this person feels like they have to like pick and choose between two things, right? It's either going to be them building towards a life with you or them focusing on themselves and manifesting and creating the life that they truly want and desire for themselves. It's it's like they feel like they have to pick and choose between the two when they actually don't. Uh, but for whatever reason, they seem to think like, no, I have to pick and choose between the two. I'm either going to focus on building towards a life with cancer or I'm just going to focus on myself and the life that I want to manifest and create for myself. But I can't do both. So I got to pick, you know, one or the other. But I do feel like having this type of mentality is just simply them selling themselves short because they can do both. They can definitely do both. They just don't feel like they can um, do both. They feel like they have to honestly pick and choose between the two. That's basically what I'm getting. But they can do both. They can they can focus on you and this relationship that they share with you. But they can also focus on themselves and the life that they want to manifest and create for themselves. But again, they just don't seem to think so. They They seem to think that they have to pick and choose. Um, you know, between the two because they can't do both. I feel like they're telling themselves, you know, we can't do both here. So we got to pick and choose, you know, what we really want to do here. Do we really want to settle down right now and build towards a life with someone right now? Or do we just want to take this time out to really focus on ourselves and, you know, the life that we want to manifest and create for ourselves? Like, which one do we want to do here? Um, right now, I do feel like this person's very indecisive um, in regards to, you know, what they truly want and, and what they truly want to do with their life, whether it's, you know, continue Continuing to focus on you and this relationship that they share with you or just kind of going off and just kind of continuing to focus on themselves and the life that they want to manifest and create for themselves. How does this person currently feel about this relationship? So we do have the world. We also have the um, seven of wands and then we also have the ten of wands. Okay. All right. So... Mm -hmm. In regards to how this person is currently feeling about this relationship, things are, for the most part, moving at a very, very fast pace here. With that Knight of Swords energy, Knight of Swords basically represents fast movement. So this person does feel like things are moving at a very fast pace here between the two of you. And I feel like it does cause them to feel very, very overwhelmed. Um, it causes them to feel like they have to hurry up and make a decision already in regards to what they want to do here with their life, whether it be to focus on you in a relationship with you or just continue to focus on themselves and the life that they want to manifest and create for themselves. So they do feel rushed into making a decision is kind of what I'm getting. And I don't necessarily feel like they like that, the, the fact that they feel rushed to hurry up and make a decision. You know, this is that type of person that when they're being faced with a decision, they like to take their time to fully process everything um, and, and really figure out what it is that they want to do. But the fact that this person feels rushed to hurry up and make a decision, it does cause them to feel um, extremely overwhelmed, which is not something that this person really does like. And with the world to the seven of wands coming out here, that's kind of telling me that they're not entirely sure if they're honestly ready to start this whole new chapter here. Um, you know, between the two of you, you know, there's a big part of this person that wants to start this chapter with you, but there's a big part of them that doesn't want to. And I want to see why that is. Tell me more about the seven of wands. Okay, so we have the knight of wands. We have, mm -hmm. 
the Justice card. We also have the Emperor to the Three of Cups. I feel like the big part of this person that doesn't necessarily want to start a whole new chapter with you, um, Cancer, has a lot to do with this... Um, how do I say this? It has a lot to do with... How do I explain this? It has a lot to do with them not being 100% certain of you and your intentions towards them it's like a part of them feels like you are very very serious about them but a part of them feels like eh, maybe cancer is not so serious about me like they say they are you know what i mean it has that type of feel to it so the fact that this person is not 100 percent certain about you and your intentions towards them causes them to not really want to start this whole new chapter here um with you this is that type of person that needs to be 100 percent certain of absolutely everything that they get themselves into and the fact that this relationship does bring a level of uncertainty into their life. They don't necessarily like that either. And that's what's causing them to not really want to start this whole new chapter with you. Um, you know, mainly because they just don't really know, like, what would possibly happen if they were to, like, take things a step further with you. You know, are they going to be okay? Are things really going to work out between the two of you? Or are they just going to end up getting hurt and disappointed in the end? I just feel like, again, this is somebody who's very big on being 100% certain of absolutely everything that they get themselves um, into. So the fact that they don't feel 100% certain about you and your actual intentions towards them, that really does bother them and it causes them to not feel so safe and secure to fully go there um, with you is basically what I'm getting. Um, hmm. I do feel like there's like a part of this person that does kind of look at you like you're like this playboy playgirl like energy and that's what causes them to kind of be on the fence about this entire situation between the two of you. Um, like I said, there's times where you kind of make this person feel like, okay, like they're serious about me, but there's times where you kind of make this person feel like you're not that serious about them. There's times where you make this person feel like, you know, you still want to be single and just out here living your best life and exploring your options. Um, there are times where you do make this person feel that way. And the times that you do make them feel that way are the times that they find themselves falling into this energy of like, uh, I don't know about this person. All right, let's keep going. Let's see what else we can get here. How does Cancer currently feel about this relationship? Okay, Cancer. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Seven of Swords. And then we also have the Eight of Wands. I feel like you're... This is weird. This is weird, Cancer. I feel like you're secretly removing yourself from something. Yeah, I, I feel like you're secretly removing yourself from something, Cancer. Um, okay, I want to, okay, I want to see what it is that you're secretly removing yourself from. Let's look into that. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Okay. We got the Seven of Wands. We got the Knight of Wands. And then we also have the Three of Swords. I feel like you're secretly removing yourself from someone, Cancer. Yeah. I feel like you're secretly removing yourself from someone. Um, you're definitely bringing something to an end, Cancer. You're definitely bringing something to an end here. Um, and whatever it is that you're bringing to an end, I feel like someone's not too happy about it. Someone's not too happy about it. I don't feel like you're ending things, though, with this person to the right of me. I feel like you're ending things with someone else. And like I said, this person that you're ending things with, I don't feel like it's this person to the right of me. I feel like it's somebody else. And like I said, this person is not too happy about it. Um, tell me more about the Three of Swords. We got the Five of Wands. We have the Three of Pentacles. And then we also have the um, Six of Wands out here. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, there's a dynamic that you're bringing to an end here. Now... This dynamic that you're bringing to an end here, it's not with someone that you you were ever in a committed relationship with. Let's just go ahead and say that you had like a situationship with this individual. But I don't believe that you were ever in a committed relationship 
with this individual in particular. No, I'm definitely not getting that. I just feel like you were like in a whole situation ship with this person. And you're finally deciding to bring it um, to an end. I feel like you, you kind of knew from the moment this relationship started between you and this individual that it wasn't going to work out. But I feel like even though you knew it wasn't going to work out between you and this person, I do feel like you kept this person around. I do feel like you kept this person around um, for whatever reason. But now that this person's in your life, Cancer, this Empress, um, yeah, now that this Empress is in your life, now that you finally met the perfect person for you, you don't necessarily want anyone or anything to come in between that, which is kind of making me feel like you did keep this person around, but you also kind of explored your options at the same exact time. And like I said, it was mainly because you were never in a committed relationship with this person. So therefore, technically speaking, you're single, you're free to do whatever it is that you want. And I feel like that's kind of what you did, Cancer. You kind of met this person prior to meeting this Empress, and you kind of knew from the get-go that it just wasn't going to work out, nor was this you know, relationship between you and this individual going to manifest into absolutely anything. And like the moment, right, that you met this Empress, you know, your, your whole life changed, you know? You instantly knew like, all right, this is the person I want. This is the person I've been waiting for. Like, this is what I want. This is what I want over here. And the moment that you started to realize that, you started to do what you got to do, I would say, on your end to remove yourself from things and people that could, you know, um, cause um, this relationship between you and this empress to basically fall apart is basically what I'm getting. So, yeah, it, it, it does appear to me that you are ending things here with a whole other individual that's not this empress. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, tell me more about the Seven of Swords. All right, so we do have the Eight of Swords. We got the Hangman. And then we also have the um, Five of Cups out here. I do feel like this individual that you're choosing to end things with, um, you are unfortunately leaving them very hurt and very disappointed. There's also like an overall energy of them essentially feeling like you just sat up here and wasted their time. I'm gonna be real with you, Cancer. Like this person feels like you just sat up here and wasted their time. I just kind of feel like this person was thinking that eventually things will get serious here between the two of you. And the fact that it never did, um, you know, obviously they're extremely hurt by a cancer um, because I feel like this person was definitely under the impression that eventually things will progress between the two of you. Eventually things will get serious. So the fact that you're coming in and you're just outright ending things here with them. Yeah, they are very hurt and disappointed by it. They are very hurt and very disappointed by it. And I do feel like this person... Um, is definitely not going to go down without a fight. Like, in other words, if you just think that by telling them, hey, listen, I think we should go our separate ways, that they're just going to turn around and respect that and just leave you alone, it's not going to play out that way. It, it's it's not going to play out that way. Um, I feel like this person, you know, they're going to put up a fight. They're going to want to know why you're doing this. Um, yeah, they're going to they're, they're gonna want to know why are you doing this? Why are you ending things here with them? You're just kind of coming in and ending things abruptly with this person out of nowhere. So I do feel like they're going to have a million questions like, why are you doing this? Why are you ending things with me? What, what the hell is going on? Like, did I say something? Did I do something? What's going on? What's going on? But yeah, I just kind of feel like you're coming in and just outright bringing this entire situation to an end, hoping that they'll just turn around and respect it and not question you on like, why are you ending things with them? Um, it's kind of what I'm getting cancer but unfortunately for you dude i i do feel this person's gonna have a million questions like wait a minute what do you mean like what do you mean you don't want anything to do with me like what, what what's going on did i say something did i do something you know things of that nature now before i continue i'll put my phone on the charger before it dies on me one second okay we're back all right let's see what actions well, before I see what actions, right, um, you plan on taking in this person's direction, I do want to see how you feel about this empress. How does Cancer feel about this empress? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. We have the Three of Wands, we have the Seven of Cups, we got the Page of Wands, we got the Four of Cups, and then we also have the um, Queen of Wands. So going back to this Empress energy, remember when I was telling you that this Empress more than likely is going to be retracting their energy to get very crystal clear on what they want here? 
Well, I do see them creating a little bit of distance here um, between the two of you. And I feel like this distance that they're creating here between the two of you, it's really like concerning you. And it's causing you to think all sorts of things. Like, are they distancing themselves from me because they're talking to somebody else and, and they're entertaining someone else? Is that what's going on here? I just feel like you just don't like the fact that they're distancing, um, you know, themselves from you. You know, you do view this empress as somebody who's very, very attractive. Somebody who has a very, very nice personality. Um, and with that being said, you know, a lot of you you know, feel like, okay, maybe that's what it is. Maybe they're talking to somebody else. Maybe they're exploring their options. Like maybe they're not really taking this relationship as seriously as I am. Like it does kind of have you feeling that way um, because they are distancing themselves from you and you just can't help but to notice it. Um, but I feel like that's why they're distancing themselves from you, Cancer. They're distancing themselves from you because they need to get very crystal clear on what they want to do here. You know, I feel like this person knows that you're very serious about them. I feel like this person knows, um, what you want from them and this connection that you guys share here with one another, they're just trying to figure out whether or not they're actually ready for all of that. Um, also, too, you got to keep in mind that the reason why they're just like, I don't know about cancer has a lot to do with like this perception that they have of you, um, which is like a playboy playgirl like energy. Um, they, they do kind of look at you as somebody who could put could possibly be like a playboy playgirl like energy i'm not saying that you are um but they do look at you as somebody who could be possibly like a playboy playgirl like energy um when it comes down to them specifically them i don't feel like you have any sort of intentions right of you know playing games with, with them i don't feel like you have any sort of intentions of leading them on i don't feel like you have any sort of you know, intentions of like wasting their time or anything like that. Like, I feel like you have really good intentions here when it comes down to um, this person. I don't feel like you're trying to make it seem like you want something serious with them out of sheer boredom or anything like that. Um, because even this person that you were with prior to even meeting this empress, like, I don't feel like you bothered to push for anything serious here between the two of you because you knew that that's not what you wanted with them. Hence why you never really push for anything serious here between the two of you. Um... So the fact that you're pushing for something serious here with this empress, you know, it is causing them to feel like, okay, like, all right, like, you know, they want something serious with me. But again, they just can't help but to feel like maybe you're just like this playboy playgirl like energy, you know, who's just walking into their life, telling them everything that, you know, you think they basically want to hear, you know, things of that nature. But I feel like specifically with them, you're very, very serious about them and what you want with them. Um... And now that you've essentially met them, you know, you're very dead set on, all right, okay, this is the person for me, like, that's that, right? Um, you're not here to play games with them, you know? You're, you wouldn't push for anything serious to transpire here between the two of you if that's not what you essentially wanted. Um, you know, you don't come off to me as a type of person um, that's going to sit here and convince somebody that you want something serious with them when in all actuality you don't. Hence why in this previous relationship, you didn't push for anything serious because you knew from the very beginning, like, oh, uh, yeah, like... This is not going to work out between me and this person. I'm not compatible to them. I don't mesh well with them. I'm not vibing with them. I don't resonate with them. Um, and that's why you never really push for anything serious with them. Like, yeah, you kept them around for whatever reason why you kept them around. But as far as pushing for something serious or even communicating to this individual that you even wanted anything serious with them, um, I don't feel like that ever happened. Um because again, just deep down inside, that's not what you wanted. So you're not going to sit here and, you know, tell that person that that's what you want with them when in all actuality, you don't. Um, you're the type of person that says what you mean and means what you say. Um, so if you say that you want something serious with someone, it's because you really do want something serious with someone. If you don't want anything serious with someone, you're going to communicate that to them or you may not say it at all. Um, but for this empress in particular um, that you find yourself connecting with, you're very, very serious about them. You're not here to play games with them or waste their time or anything like that. All right. What actions will this empress take towards cancer or moving forward? So we have the wheel of fortune. We have the knight of pentacles. Okay. And then we also have the nine of cups. The bottom of... Hmm. At the bottom of the deck, uh, we do have the Six of Pentacles, we also have the Ten of Swords, and then we also have the Queen of Cups. So in the near future, in the near future, um, I do see this person um, 
deciding to just continue to focus on themselves and the life that they want to manifest and create for themselves, you know, things of that nature. But with the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Swords, the Six of Pentacles coming out here, you know, this is a very interesting energy because I feel like they're going to attempt, they're going to attempt to end things here with you. But I don't feel like they're going to be successful at it, which is very, very interesting um, because I do see them making the attempt to end things with you, but they're not going to be successful at it for whatever reason. Yeah, they're not going to be successful at it for whatever reason. See, this is like the epitome. This to me kind of feels like the epitome of them deciding to just continue to focus on themselves and the life that they want to manifest and create for themselves because living this life for them feels safe. It feels uh, predictable, right? But see, going off and running off into the sunset with you yeah, that just brings way too much uncertainty into their life. That just brings way too much of the level of the unknown and they don't like it. Um, it's basically what I'm getting. You know, again, this is kind of like the epitome of somebody choosing to play it safe instead of taking a chance, instead of taking a risk. See, relationships for this empress in particular um, don't typically make this person feel safe and or secure whatsoever. Um, which, I mean understandable you know what i mean when you get into a relationship you have to have trust and faith that that person that you're with is going to do right by you you know but at the end of the day we all have this full understanding that we can't control you know the person that we're with we can't control if that person is going to do right by us or not so it is a little bit of a risk it is a little bit of a gamble it is a little bit of a roll of the dice type of situation you know what i mean and i don't feel like they like that you know i don't feel like they like taking chances on people i don't feel like they like taking risk on people and i don't feel like they like relying and or depending on someone to do right by them you know what I mean especially because so many people have failed them so many times in the past like they just don't want to like roll that dice you know what I mean anymore so this is them choosing to just continue to kind of play it safe by choosing to just focus on them and the life that they want to manifest and create for themselves instead of signing themselves up for something that's very unpredictable instead of them signing themselves up for something that has Way too much of the level of the unknown attached to it. Um, but like I said, <laughs> I feel like they're going to attempt to end things with you, but they're not going to be successful at it. It's like something stopping them from like fully like pulling the plug, I would say, on this relationship. It's like they have their hand on the plug and they're like about to pull it, but it's like something's like stopping them from like fully pulling the plug on this relationship. Interesting. I really want to like dissect this a little bit more, but before I do, let me see what actions you plan on taking in their direction. What actions will Cancer take towards this person or moving forward? Hmm. We have the Five of Cups, we have the Two of Swords, and then we also have the Hangman. Mm -hmm. the bottom of the deck we got the four pentacles we got the magician and then we also have the knight oh a wands look at this you guys with the three of swords to the ten of swords to the page of swords and then we also have the high priestess now i know what's stopping them in their tracks now i know because i'm like this person has their freaking hand Yeah, it's like they're about, they're, this person has their, their their fingers wrapped around this plug and they're about to pull it, but it's like something stopping them from pulling it. And now I see what it is. So here they are. Let's just jump back to this energy so that way it all flows and it all makes sense. Come here. Okay. So here they are coming in, you know, trying to have a conversation here with you. This to me feels like the epitome of somebody trying to let someone down gently. Um, So this person might, you know, communicate to you like, hey, listen, you know, like, I'm not saying that they're going to say all of this word for word, but just roll with me. You know what I mean? For a moment, um, you know, this person might say something along the lines of, hey, listen, like, I think you're great, but, you know, I just, you know, I just, I don't know. I just don't know if I'm like really, you know, ready for a relationship. And I feel like, I, and I feel like, by the way, I feel like this is like an in-person type of conversation that's taking place. If it's not an in-person conversation and you guys are just having this conversation through the, uh, through, um, 
Oh my gosh, if I can freaking like process things this morning, because I feel like the coffee just hasn't kicked in just yet. My apologies. But um, this could, you know, be like an in-phase conversation here, or you guys could very well be having this conversation through the phone. But regardless of how this conversation is going down, which I honestly feel like it's an in-person conversation, but I feel like this person is looking at your response and your reaction to what they have to say, and it's instantly making them feel like shit. It's instantly making them feel like shit because I feel like this person is like witnessing. Yeah, I feel like this person's witnessing, you know, you go from, you know, being happy and excited to just being like sad and like depressed, you know, out of nowhere is kind of what I'm getting. And the and the way that you're responding and reacting to this, you know, uh, conversation that they're having with you, it's it's what's basically preventing them from like pulling the plug. Um, on this relationship with you because the moment this person comes in and has a conversation with you you already know you already know what they're trying to do here they're trying to like you know cut you out of their life you already know what they're trying to do here and I feel like it's instantly making you sad it's instantly causing you to kind of fall into the state of depression um and they're witnessing that they're witnessing um how quickly your demeanor and everything about you is, is drastically changing before their eyes and it's causing them to feel like shit. Like, oh my God, like, ooh, like, wasn't it? I think that, I don't know if this person was expecting, you know what I mean? For you to just turn around and be like, all right, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. You know, no, 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 don't worry about it. You know what I mean? Hell, I don't care anyways, you know? I don't know if that's what they were expecting for your response and your reaction to be towards this, you know? But I feel like the moment this person sees you, like, you know, start falling into like this state of depression and this state of sadness, it's going to prevent them from pulling the plug on this relationship. So if this person hits you with the, hey, listen, you know, I just, I don't know, like I just don't think I'm ready for a relationship, you're instantly going to find yourself, um, you know, feeling sad, feeling like you're falling into this like state of depression, you know what I mean? Um, and the moment they witness you get this way, I feel like, you know, they're going to say something else um, to cause you to feel like, you know, this relationship is at, isn't actually coming to an end um, after all. It's kind of what I'm getting, you know what I mean? So this person might tell you like, hey, listen, I just don't think I'm ready for a relationship. Once they witness you become all sad and depressed and disappointed, um, you know, they might hit you with the, but you know, you know, I really do like you and, and, and you know, even though I'm scared, you know what I mean? Even though I feel like I'm not ready, you know. I think we should do this. You know what I mean? I think we should just do this either which way. And it instantly causes you to fall into this energy of, you know, wanting to build, right? And manifest and create the life that you truly want and desire um, with this person. So, you know, then there's that, right? But this is interesting, right? Because we have the high priestess to the hair form out here. Let me just say this, you guys. The fact that you guys are showing up, I'm so sorry. The fact that you guys are showing up as the uh, Empress and the Emperor, and we got the hair fonts of the High Priestess out here. Not only are you guys very compatible to one another, but you guys share a very strong and intense spiritual connection with one another. You guys are going to be in each other's lives for a very long time. We're not talking about a few like months or like a few years. You know, we're talking about decades upon decades. This could definitely represent the person that you end up getting married to, which to be honest, I know things are just getting started here between the two of you, but I feel like you just know, you know, like this is the person that you want to marry. It's not taking you too long to realize like, okay, you know, this is the person that I want to marry. Like, I feel like you're realizing like, yeah, this is the person I want to be in a relationship with very quickly. But I feel like you're also realizing very quickly that no, nah, like this is the person I want to marry. This is the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. Now, if you don't believe in marriage or anything like that, it's fine. Um, but you just know that this is the person that you want to spend the rest of your life with. Now, if you do believe in marriage, you know, you're already thinking to yourself like, yeah, this is, th this is going to be the one that I get married to. Um... Like I said, dude, I, I feel like you're a person and it's just something that you kind of need to prepare yourself for. Um, but I just, I feel like your person doesn't like the fact that they're signing themselves up for something that's just so like unpredictable. I don't feel like this person likes the fact that they're signing themselves up for something that has like the level of the unknown attached to all of this. Like that really does scare the hell out of them. 
it really does scare the hell out of them. So I feel like, you know, by them witnessing you get all sad and you start to fall into a state of depression, that's really what's going to prevent them from like officially pulling the plug on this relationship because they have their, their pretty fingers wrapped around this plug here. They're just choosing to not pull it because of the way that you're responding and reacting to what this person has to basically say. Um, so I do feel like this relationship is not actually coming to an end after all, even though I'm gonna be honest, that was their intentions. Like that was their intention was to bring this entire situation to an end between the two of you because you and this relationship that they share with you, it's, it brings too much uncertainty into their life. It's a gamble. It's a risk. It's a roll of the dice type of situation. And they just don't like that. Um, but like I said, they're not going to be successful at bringing this relationship to an end between the two of you. They're not. All right. What else can you tell me for this relationship? Mm. Okay. We have... Wow. <laughs> Look at what we have here. We have the King of Wands to the Lovers. And then we have the uh, Queen of Wands out here. Yeah. You guys are very, very, very compatible to one another. You guys mesh very well with one another. I feel like you guys have a lot in common, too. But anyways, um, we got the Seven of Wands to the Ten of Cups um, to the... Uh, Seven of Pentacles to the Chariot. Now keep in mind, for those of you who do not know this, the person that's actually in the Chariot is the Emperor, which is your energy, Cancer, regardless of your gender. Yeah, you're very dead set on this person. You're, you also are very determined, Cancer, to make sure this relationship between the two of you works out. You don't want to experience another failed marriage and a relationship. I do see you going all out, though, when it comes down to this person. Uh, and when it comes down to this connection, um, I do see you definitely going all out here when it comes down to them. Um, I see you making this person, you know, definitely a priority. Um, and what you share with this person, a priority in your life. Um, but yeah, one thing that I like about you, Cancer, is that your words match up with your actions. Like, again, you're the type of person that says what you mean means what you say. Like, if you tell this person, like, yo, I want to spend the rest of my life with you, y'all are going to end up in the damn nursing home together. Um, you know, if you're telling this person, y'all want to have a family with you, you're going to make sure that that happens. If you're telling this person, listen, I, I want to marry you one day, you're going to make that happen. You're the type of person that literally says what you mean and means what you say. And that's something that I really do have a lot of respect for. So even though your empress has like their doubts and reservations, even though, yeah, they do. Um, and this entire relationship brings so much uncertainty and so much of the love of the unknown into their life. And they don't necessarily like that. You know, I feel like this person needs to really pay close attention to the words that come out of your mouth, but as well as your actions, because your words are going to match up with your actions, vice versa. Um, and I feel like if they pay close attention to those two things, um, I feel like in time, you know, they'll, they'll find themselves, you know, feeling very safe and very secure with you and what they share with you. Um, but I feel like that's, you know, two things that they need to pay very close attention to is the words that come out of your mouth and the, the actions um, behind it. You know what I mean? Because you do come off to me as somebody who says what you mean and means what you basically say. It's basically what I'm getting. Um, so as far as this relationship is concerned, it kind of looks like it's definitely going places for sure, for sure, between you and this person. As far as this person that you're ending things with, I feel like that situation is over and done with. I do. I feel like that whole situation is over and done with between you and that person that you were dealing with. Let's see what the romance angels have to say. Okay. So we... Ooh. E. There's a huge possibility... Um, well, Cancer, there's a huge possibility that you may not be telling this person that you're ending things with the real reason why you're ending things with them, okay? You might not tell this person, like, listen, you know, the reason why I'm ending things with you is because I finally met the per the perfect person for me. You might not even tell them all of that. Um, you might hit them with something else. Um, but I do feel like they're going to eventually find out is kind of what I'm getting. I feel like this person is going to eventually find out, like, the real reason why you actually ended things with them. Um, somehow, some way. All right, what else do you have to tell me? 
All right, so we have stay optimistic about your love life. We also have expressed your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. This is very similar to the Eight of Wands for me as a reader in tarot. Typically, when this card comes out, it's like Spirit's way of like encouraging you to see something through. And I feel like this advice is mainly for this Empress. I feel like this Empress is being encouraged to see this relationship through and just have trust and faith that everything's going to work out um, just fine between the two of you. We also have wedding. I kept getting, you know you um feeling strongly like this is a person that i'm going to marry and i'm going to make sure that this is the person that i marry i keep getting that from you i keep getting that from you so there's a huge possibility that you might end up marrying this person um there's a huge possibility that that's more than likely going to happen and i feel like you're 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 for sure for sure going to make sure that that does happen um, as far as like making this person your wife and or a husband because i don't know this person's gender um but yeah, I'm seeing nothing but good things uh, for you and this person. Just know that, you know, your Empress does have a lot of doubts and reservations when it comes down to you. So definitely making sure that your words match up with your actions is going to benefit you a lot uh, within this relationship with them. I also feel like you're going to have to reassure this person along this journey that you guys currently find yourself on. Um but I feel like um, in time, they'll, they'll, they'll start to feel very safe and very secure with you. I just I just feel like it's going to take time. You know what I mean? But um, I do feel like eventually they'll reach that point of feeling very safe and very secure with you. There's no doubt in my mind about that. I just feel like it's going to take some time. But in the meantime, you know, make sure your words are matching up with your actions. I don't feel like you have a pro you're going to have a problem with that. Um, but, you know, like I said, dude, you might have to reassure this person along along the way. You know what I mean? That That's another thing I'm definitely getting strongly. So, cancer, hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.